Okay, so this is video two of the prep series, and um, we're going to talk about scapular stabilization. Uh, scapula is, is your shoulder blades, and um, reason why you need scapular stabilization, and um, we'll transfer it over into your push-ups, your pull-ups, and um, onto the lat pull-down machine, onto kettlebell swing. So what happens is most people, especially when you think of kettlebell swing or pull-ups, uh, people lack scapular stabilization. So the, the shoulder generally comes disconnected from the, the lat or from the body. So we want to be able to capability of under strain, being able to hold that down. So we start off with two exercises. We're going to do dead hangs and active hangs and scapular push-ups. So dead hang to active hang. Dead hang is just when we're just going to be hanging off the bar. And an active hang is shoulder depression and retraction. So this is where we squeeze the scapula together. Okay, so it's depression and retraction. So we'll show you that on the bar. So we can do these for three seconds each. So we start with just a dead hang, where we feel the full lengthening down on the lat. So three, two, one, and then we're going to go shoulder depression and retraction. So this is now an active hang, and we can hold for three, two, one, and then you can go back down into your dead hang, and then back up into your active hang. Okay. So you can do that, say, for starting off maybe only five rounds. So you do three seconds dead hang, three seconds active hang for five rounds. And then we can go on into uh, scapular push-ups. So scapular push-ups, we're going to work on the same position. It, it's scapular retraction, we're also going to work on scapular protraction. So separating the scapula. So in a standard push-up position, hands are under the shoulders, about shoulder width apart, index fingers kind of parallel to each other. So you're going to go scapula uh, retraction, so bring them back and down, as if I'm trying to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Three, two, one, and then you're going to go scapula protraction. So you're separated, extending right up, as if you're trying to push as far as possible away from the ground. Hold for three, two, one. Right. So on video one, we talked about core stabilization, which we're going to use in both of these exercises as well. So on the hang, you want that core stabilization. So it's if my lower back is pushed into the floor. And then the same on when we do the push-up, it's core stabilization. So when we protract or retract, our hips aren't sagging down or bumps up into the air. 